I work in Danske Bank. It's a northern bank uh, with roughly three and a half million customers, uh, fully universal, uh, universal product offering and, and very focused on digital. My role is head of sales development and analytics. And I'm heading uh, our um, efforts within advanced analytics. So we have roughly 25 data scientists working across the bank, uh, trying to predict the future. The key challenge we're facing within analytics is, um, I normally use the word digestion. You could also use the words commercialization. So really how to move away from doing data science in an ivory tower to get a, into you know, how you run your business. So how do we get to a point where we can document that now this customer has a better experience than yesterday because we used advanced analytics? How can we get to a point where we earned more money than we did yesterday because we used advanced analytics? So we're a company, I mean, if you're in healthcare, how can you prove that you cure people faster by using data? So really, that's what I call the commercialization of advanced analytics. And I think that's the challenge. There's a lot of, a lot of opinions about it, a lot of Cinderella viewpoints in terms of AI and analytics. So, so the challenge is how to get it done in reality. I think the, the everything, everything we do within advanced analytics, we, we, we start out by saying, what, are the, what is the customer problem we're trying to solve here? And the best way to explain it is, in essence, through examples. So one of the examples is that we can, we can basically predict customers' preference in terms of marketing. So are you the type of person who wants digital marketing? Are you the type of person who don't want marketing? Are you the type of person who wants email marketing? Or do you just want to you know, make all the decisions yourself, etc.? And, and through advanced analytics, we can actually have quite a precise opinion about your preference. And if we apply that to our marketing, we've seen results where you know, we have three to four times the impact in terms of you know, sales or customer satisfaction and so on. I think we've done about 30 different projects now. We've done some very classical things within churn prevention, uh, within understanding uh, what are the needs of our customers, which we could then target through marketing or sales. We're doing cool stuff within credit and risk to, to be better at understanding um, credit behavior and uh, who are the real risky customers. We've done work within HR to understand who are the future high performers. We've done work within fraud and AML to basically ensure that we drive the right bank. So, so the stuff works pretty much no matter what area we go into. But in many of the cases, we end up with pilots. We end up with, you know, we've done it, it works, now on to something new. So really it's about moving into a point where you change your behavior, you change how you run the bank.